All right, we're just coming along scuffing up the top of the cow. We got it all roughed up, scuffed back down. We're gonna put a little body filler in a place or two. And we're gonna shoot it again with epoxy. We got our firewall sanded down. About as good as we're gonna worry with. It's pretty smooth. We're gonna shoot it one time, hopefully today, and then again tomorrow. We'll end up with two good coats on everything. And I must say, the uh, the new little uh, DA sander thing, it works out pretty good. It's easy to hold on to. It's a lot better than that old big one I got from Lowe's or wherever. That thing right there is a dang handful. Let me see if I can set you up somewhere and give you a little better shot of a difference in size. Both of them are six inch, but you can see that joker right there is a handful now. I mean, it's you got to basically tackle it with both hands. You can take this one right here and go along. And I've seen Roger, Mr. Fireman 164, I've seen him use these little ones and a couple other folks. And like I say, this was the only thing that they had uptown at the time. It's a cobalt, but I probably won't be using it anymore. This thing works real good. We're going to pull the trunk and uh, clean up the bracketry. And get everything ready to shoot all at one time. And when we have a little more, we'll bring you along. All right, this little section of the video is going to be uh, for Russ. And uh, maybe help him out with his gas spring effort if he decides to go that way, Russ. There's three numbers and I don't know why, but there's uh, 45, 28, uh, 10, 6, 15. That's actually on the gas shock itself. And then on the uh, pack, it's got Mighty Lift, uh, E95, 786 with the barcode. And this is a, uh, I believe it's an auto zone or advanced auto, one or the other, I'll find out for sure. But like I say, there's three numbers. I don't know which one's actually the part number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a flashlight and show you what it looks like underneath. The deck filler panel. What we actually did for brackets. If I can get set up here. Russ, what I've got is an eight inch piece of inch and a half by one eighth angle. And there is a rib in the deck filler panel right along there. And that piece fits right up under the bracket, right up under the hinge. And I tapered this edge back to fit that curve in the lip of the trunk there but I've actually got it sticking out about a quarter of an inch and that was just to give me a little more lift without hitting this edge and again the other side is exactly the same it's an inch and a half by one eighth piece of angle cut and fits right along that little rib right in there I know it's hard to see up in there but it's right dead up under the hinge area. I know you said you didn't really want to go in there and start drilling on your deck filler panel, but what I drill, what I did is I drilled four spot holes, spot well holes, and they are half inch each. And the reason why is this piece is so much thicker than than the sheet metal part. I wanted to make sure I could get this eighth inch hot before that hole started closing up. So I had to go big on the holes, but there's four of them and they are in there very good. So uh, that's what's holding the gas spring and holding the trunk lid up. So I hope that helps. That's how I did it. 
seems to be working pretty good so far. So uh, we're going to get these in epoxy, get my plug well hole, get everything done at one time. I'll finish welding the brackets on the trunk lid uh, and do all that too. So uh, Russ, I hope that helps. I know there's some kits out there you were telling me about. That might be a better deal other than trying to, you know, go this route, you know, having to fab them up and drill that deck filler pound. But uh, I think once once I grind these wells down <clears throat> and epoxy over that, I don't think I'll ever have to worry about anything leaking, hopefully. You have some more, we'll bring you back. Hi, right, YouTube. Jeff Lynn's in the shop with you today, Sunday. Uh... Some of the places that we've already got uh, our epoxy down, we just decided to go ahead and uh, try our hand with a little bit of filler in a few little places here and there. On the back end, we had just where those seams were, we just thought we'd level everything out good there. And then across the trunk, <clears throat> I just put a a swipe all the way across. They had some little bumps and dings in that edge. And I thought I'd try to fix those up just to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, just really not in the mood for metal work and that type of thing. Uh, we did go over the dash where we had that little dent we uh, missed last time. And just a couple of spots here and there. We went back over a little bit, and uh, like I say, we got a firewall ready. We're going to try to shoot all this in epoxy before we get out of the shop today, hopefully. As um, soon as all this hardens up good, we can sand it down smooth, clean it up, wipe it down, and then uh, maybe try to go for some epoxy to finish up this video. And we'll go to something different. Have some more, we'll bring it along. All right, YouTube. Jeff Lindsay in the shop, 6 uh, p.m. on Sunday. We uh, got everything sanded down, kind of cleaned up, leveled out. Shot a little epoxy, firewall, the dash. Upper cow panels in a second coat, looking fairly good. We uh, we got our package tray, or not our package tray, but our deck filler panel plug well holes that are holding up our brackets for the gas springs for the trunk lid. Uh, our seam areas there where the uh, tail light panel connected to the top part of the quarters. We went over those with some filler, got them looking kind of smooth look good uh, we got our trunk deck in a second coat or actually it's uh, more like a third coat probably but this coats uh, over some body filler we had some dings and dents we, we we fixed and we probably got a maybe another coat to go so uh, that's all right though that's body work that's stuff that can wait till later but we had it all had it right here at us so we decided we'd try it um, I had never done a lot of body work, so, but we tried. So, uh, just to kind of recap where we're at on this Camaro, we've got the dash and upper cow panel, the side cow panels, the firewall, the entire underside of the Camaro, all the floor pan area, the wheel wells, the trunk pan, the trunk drop-offs, uh, the tail light panel, and then all this area, package tray deck filler panel, and the surrounding areas, and the trunk lid, all in epoxy. All that's in epoxy and in pretty good shape, and uh, probably won't be doing anything else, hopefully, to those areas just yet uh we'll get on something else we're probably going to put off the roof skin for a little while till we we just need to learn a little bit more about that i, I need to 
there's a couple of videos online but uh we got a lot of other area that needs attention that back seat area back in there all that needs to be cleaned on up a little bit better and sprayed the inner wheel well areas all that uh i could go ahead and and do the the top side of the floor pan and then, and then that firewall area on the inside needs attention. All that stuff we can finish before we worry about that roof skin. And uh, that's probably what we'll do. So we're going to call this a video. Uh, we didn't get a lot done this weekend, but we've been working a lot. And uh, yesterday was just kind of a rest day. We didn't, we didn't go at it too hard. Today we went at it a little bit. And got a lot done. Uh, feel good about what we did get done. So uh, a little progress is better than no progress. And uh, I want to thank everybody uh, that has subscribed recently. A lot of new subscribers. And uh, uh, that's a little thanks to Roger, Mr. Fireman164, for a shout out. A lot of folks come this way. So I appreciate that, Roger. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the videos, putting up with me. And uh, if, you, if you feel like it, so, uh, comment, like the videos, question the videos, uh, ask questions. Or any, kind of, any kind of correspondence is always good with me. Uh, this is a hobby. It's just a one-time deal for me. I've never done it before. Don't do it for a living. So... Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of things I'm not doing uh, like other folks might that do it for a living, but that's okay. We're going to get it done one day. We'll have us a call. So uh, I appreciate everybody watching. And until next weekend, we're going to leave it here.